What is up, you guys? It's your host, Galavon. It's Clash of Clans update season. We are talking about a monstrous, massive Clash of Clans update. Well, anyway, let's just get right into what is happening. First things first, level 7 wizards at Town Hall 10. Look at those guys. They look ominous. They look evil. They look tough. One single level 7 wizard will completely level a goblin village all by itself. And level 6 wizards are going to have their hit points and damage increased. It's crazy. I tell you, I know you guys are shocked. Also, level 6 wizards are now available at Town Hall 9. Now I can hear you already, but Galadon, how do we stop these evil and powerful wizards? Well, how about a level 9 Tesla? That is right, at Town Hall 11, there are now level 9 Teslas. Look at those bad boys. Those are evil looking. Now also, they will no longer deal double damage to P.E.K.K.A. So maybe that's the answer as well. Taking down those Teslas with P.E.K.K.A.s. Of course, the level 7 wizard might not do so well against a brand spanking new set of level 9 Teslas as you can see here. But Galadon will just use a bunch of level 7 wizards and wipe those Teslas out. It's just a matter of overpowering them. So the Teslas, they're not gonna help us that much. What do we do? Well, how about a level 10 mortar? That's right, at Town Hall 11, you now have the level 10 mortar available, and you're also going to see a damage increase in mortars levels eight and nine. So the level 10 mortar definitely ready to take on that new level seven wizard and check out those balls. Yes, I can hear you guys now. That mortar has amazing balls in slow motion. Check it out. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's absolutely annihilating those wizards. But Galadon, the mortar's too powerful. What do we do? These poor wizards won't do the trick. The answer, of course, level five baby dragons. Check out those pretty pink protruding parts there. Yes, the level 5 baby dragon, perhaps that is the answer to that level 10 mortar. Also, level 4 baby dragons are now available at Town Hall 10. But Galadon, you ask, is that enough? Two upgraded defenses, will the dragons do the trick? Well, how about bringing the new and improved skeleton spell? Yes, it will spawn more skeletons than you ever imagined possible. Okay, maybe not quite that many, but it's a lot of skeletons. At max level, the newly improved skeleton spell pops 26. Yes, 26 skeletons. That means why not bring 11 skeleton spells and just flood the screen with skeleton spells and pretend you have a developer iPad uh, when you don't really. But I don't know, at least in a friendly battle, that might be cool. But Galadon, that's too many skeletons. That's too much offensive power. How do we battle it? The answer level 5 expos that's right the brand new and improved level 5 expo and it's definitely going to do some dirty work right there check it out kind of like that burnt orange on the edges there definitely matches the new town hall 11 style and flavor and the color and of course it's going to definitely destroy some units but what if you've got a level 6 dragon to throw at it maybe that will do the trick to overpower that brand new and improved expo check out the level 6 dragons but Galadon, you ask, dragons take up so much housing space. How can we possibly have enough dragons to overpower all of these new defenses? The answer, the new and improved clone spell. Yes, the clone spell will now allow your troops to stay much longer on the battlefield than ever before. Here we drop a few dragons. Check out the clone spell right there. There is the cloned dragon, that cloned level six dragon doing work over there on the camp. But check out the length right here. This guy is going to stay around for a long, long time. And one more balancing change. We will see the addition of 25 more wall pieces. Yes, 25 new wall pieces to make that big base bigger and stronger. But Galadon, that seems so perfectly balanced. Everything in complete harmony. This is amazing. Well, maybe it's too early to tell, but it is a lot of changes, you guys. It's a lot to digest. There definitely is a lot coming to this next update. And there's more. This is just the beginning, you guys. Make sure that you are subscribed for the sneak peeks, the real sneak peeks starting very, very soon. And of course, we've got more stuff changing. Upgrade discounts. What we're talking about here is a discount in time and or cost for upgrading a bunch of different troops. And here is the list. Wizard level six, dragons three, four, five, all levels of baby dragons, cannons 12 and 13, archer towers 11, 12, 13, mortars eight, nine, wizard towers seven, eight, hidden Tesla five, six, seven, eight, and expos two through four, 
they will all see upgrade discounts in time and or cost. Also, another change in clan war balancing. You will earn a partial war win bonus even when you fail an attack. You will also no longer have your war win bonus reduced when you're attacking a lower town hall level. Additionally, tougher targets in war will be worth more clan experience up to a maximum of 10. The idea here is to lessen the downside of the more ambitious war attacks attacking up and better reward players who are doing cleanup attacks maybe on lower town hall level bases. Also, it looks like they're trying to base clan experience rewards on defender strength in order to better reward clans that participate in high level clan wars. So that is going to wrap up this brief but information filled episode. So get ready you guys, sneak peeks and the update just around the corner. Make sure you stay subscribed. Let me know what you think down in the comments. There was a lot to digest. I don't blame you if you need to watch the episode four or five times. I will totally understand that. Thank you guys as always for your time. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Shout out to every single last one of you. You are all honorary members of the hashtag Galafam and I hope to see you all back here again tomorrow for more full attacks. Gally Don, where's the gym box update?